excited for Five Nights at Freddy's movie? That's crazy. I'm not. I know everyone's hyped for it, but like, I do not care. Chad, should I make a reaction video reacting to the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's? Even though I know nothing about the fucking games. What do, I, what do I watch? MatPat? You'll get bored. What? What gives you that idea? The top video is an hour and 28 minutes by this guy named Hyperdroid. Five Nights at Freddy's lore explained in 10 minutes. How about I watch the 10 minute one and try and understand what the fuck's going on? Let's be honest, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's didn't have a plan. Thank you. I agree. Thank you. I said this the other day and everyone said I was wrong. The creator creator did not have a story written out. We all know that. He did not have anything planned when he originally made Finance at Freddy's. Obviously, when they made the second game, they rode with it. They're like, oh, wait, we can actually do something with this, you know? That's how fucking indie games work. They just release something, throw shit at a fucking wall, and then eventually they're like, oh, wait, people like this? And then, you know, they figure it out. No, they added lore before the second game, but after the first game came out. So my point still in stands when they made the first game they had no plans to add lore to the fucking game my point literally stands you can't say no he had lore sorted but not the entire story shut the fuck up aren't there books after the first game was made are you guys not listening? Snuff one had lore in Easter eggs hinting about the kidnapping of kids and their bodies being possibly stuffed into the animations. There was no other lore than that until the later games because the creator was gonna quit making games if FNAF didn't do well. Here's what FNAF was, ready? It was a guy who heard all these stories about the Chuck E. Cheese doll being creepy as hell to kids. And he thought, oh, that's kind of funny. Let me make a horror game based on that. And then he did. And then it popped off and he made some complex story about it. Anyways, you guys want to watch the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's? Five Nights at Freddy's explained in 10 minutes. I'm watching it. All right, pay attention. Ah, oh, fuck. It's wrong screen. Guys, we're going to learn together. Let's see if we can understand what this game's about in a 10 minute video. FNAF lore in 10 minutes. Ready, go. A guy named William moves from England to a small town called Hurricane with his wife and three kids. It's in this small town that he meets a fella named Henry. Pretty simple enough. Okay, dude moves to town. He meets a dude named Henry. All right, pretty simple. His own kids, and Henry and William become good friends. They decide on a business venture to open up a family diner that sold cake and Pizza. with the main attraction being these two animatronic suits that can either be an animatronic or can spring lock into suits that humans can wear. Keep that in mind, it'll it'll be important later. Henry wore the Freddy suit and William wears the Bonnie suit. As business is booming for Fazbear's family diner, so much so that they open up another branch called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza where he creates four new animatronics, Bonnie, Chica, Freddy, and Foxy. But what Big. we don't know about William Afton is that he's a crazed lunatic an absolute psychopath. It is for this reason that it's assumed that Henry created an animatronic called the puppet to protect his daughter Charlie from danger. One day in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, what? what danger? What danger? What danger? Henry's daughter Charlie gets locked outside of the pizzeria. However, the puppet can't save Charlie as it's stuck in a box. And as William pulls into the driveway, he ends up murdering Charlie and dragging her into an alley. Wait, I'm lost. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Whose daughter is this? Is this Henry's or William's? Wait, hold on. I gotta go back. Hold on. This is Henry's daughter. Okay, hold on. Shut up, shut up, shut up. This is Hen- One day in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, Henry's daughter, Charlie, gets locked outside of the pizzeria. Yeah, Henry- Henry's daughter is locked in. However, the puppet can't save Charlie as it's stuck in a box. And as William pulls into the driveway, he ends up murdering Charlie and dragging her into an alley. He just straight up murders her. Wait, did he hit her with a would hit him with a car? Cause she's locked in. He just wait. So he he goes inside and murders her. Well, damn, some business partner. Once the puppet finally gets out of the box, it goes outside to protect Charlie, only to find her dead. What happens next it's is that Charlie's spirit fuck. inhabits Holy the shit. puppet, Let's so it's now go. possessed by Charlie's spirit, and Henry lost his only child. A daughter controls the puppet. Got it. Hang on, let's focus on William Afton's family. He has two sons and a daughter, but right now let's focus on the boys. The small one is Evan and the older is Mike. Evan is scared of the animatronics and Mike sees this as a wonderful opportunity. <laughs> on Evan's birthday party, Mike, the older brother, decides to put Evan near the mouth of an animatronic version of Freddy to give him a big kiss. What happened instead is that the spring locks on the suit fail due to the moisture of the tears which ends up causing the animatronic to bite down on William's kid like a Big Mac. Is that the bite of 87? Thus marking the bite of 83. The death of oh, the young- Oh, fuck, dude! 
God damn it, I thought I was 87. The sun was enough to spiral William Afton's mind into even more chaos and psychotic behavior. He ends up luring five children into the safe room of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza dressed up as Spring Bonnie, from which he then kills them. Wait, I thought the stupid animatronics were his kids, but no, they're random kids? All because his kid died because of his child's manipulation? This shit makes no fucking sense. But where would he hide the body, you may ask? Well, when Afton was designing the four new suits, he put them in the fucking suits. He specifically designed to fit children inside of the animatronics. And because of this, no one was able to find any evidence. The puppet, witnessing all of this, decides to assist the children. But there's five children and four suits. Where would the extra child go? Well, the extra child was stuffed into the Golden Fredbear costume. So now we have- Which isn't released until later on when the fucking creator- actually made the lore because he wasn't in the fucking first game because there was no lore six kids that have their souls stuck in animatronics shortly after afton ends up getting fired from his own company and the restaurant is closed down due to health. oh he was in the first game okay i lied sorry health violations however william afton <laughs> didn't stop there after the closure of <coughs> fazbear's pizza he decides to make a new company called afton robotics and creates a new location specifically designed to murder children but why, you may ask. Well, when Afton was murdered- I was about to ask why, yeah. ...during the five children, he discovered a way to become immortal, introducing Remnant. When the kids die, they release this material called Remnant, which bonds your soul onto something. This is basically how the missing children and Charlie were able to possess the spirits of animatronics. It's pog as fuck, holy shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, did I hear that correctly? When Afton was murdering the five children, he discovered a way to become immortal, introducing Remnant. When the kids die, they release this material called Remnant, which bonds your soul onto something. This is basically how the missing children and Charlie were able to possess the spirits of animatronics. He uses this information specifically to create Circus Baby, who was able to lure children in with games and then crush them inside of her stomach. So now we know that William's youngest child is dead, and his eldest is doing something not really important right now, but maybe later. Anyway, Elizabeth, Afton's daughter, is here at this private party to unveil the new location in the franchise, until Elizabeth gets a little too close to Baby, and yeah, she gets folded like a lawn chair. Anyway, because of this in Hold on, what do you think about it? This child murderer has children and a wife. Where's the wife in this, by the way? I guess she, she'll show up later. She doesn't think, oh, where are my missing kids? You know, like. Was shut down due to a gas leak. But rest assured, he still kept the animatronics open for rental. For what reason? Well, you remember this guy, right? Afton's only son? William being the wonderful father he is, he sent his son to locate and free the soul of Elizabeth, who is trapped inside of Circus Baby. So now let's shift to the new star of the show, Michael Afton, who survives the first four nights pretty well until around the fourth night, where technicians are instructed to scoop out the shells of the animatronics and take the scalvageable endoskeletons. This scooping machine also has some remnant, I wonder why. Soon enough, all of the animatronics get scooped, but they all combine their parts of their endoskeleton into some weird megazord known as Ennard. Ennard? <laughs> I'm so confused! Wait, 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 okay, hold on. Okay, okay, so what we're understanding is William, William is a fuckwad, right? That's what we're, really, that's what we're understanding. He sends his son to do this? So in one of the games you play, as so, the son Michael. Him being the wonderful father he is, he sent his son to locate and free the soul of Elizabeth, who is trapped inside of Circus Baby. So now let's shift to the new star of the show, Michael Afton, who survives the first four nights pretty well until around the fourth night, where technicians are instructed to scoop out the shells of the animatronics and take the scalvageable endoskeletons. This scoop. I don't understand that part, but whatever. Scooping machine also has some remnant. I wonder why. Soon enough, all of the animatronics get scooped but they all combine their parts of their endoskeleton into some weird megazord known as Ennard. On the final night, our fun. man Michael ends up finding himself in this godforsaken scooping machine, and it turns out Baby's true intentions were to scoop the living hell out of Michael's organs and make some room for Ennard to chill in there, like some fucked up hermit crap. Needless to say, our boy Michael gets scooped like he's one of those strawberry sherbet ice creams, and all that remnant keeps his soul alive, whilst Ennard makes his way inside of the corpse to escape the complex. Wait, wrong game. Eventually, we realize that Michael's body slowly ends up deteriorating due to him being basically a, a walking corpse. 
A few days later, Ennard ends up escaping into a sewer system, and just when you think our boy is dead, he gets reanimated back to life. Now that Michael has freed Elizabeth, his new goal is to find William Afton. Okay. Fast forward a bit, Michael isn't able to find his father, but while all of this is happening, William decides to go to the original abandoned location to dismantle all of the old animatronics. William ends up snapping those fools like Lego bricks, but unbeknownst to William, he just awoken the spirits in a physical form. How does that work? How does that make it? Okay. Front William. However, in this safe room lies the very suit that William Afton used to kill these children. In an attempt to, I don't know, uh, s scare them, he puts on the suit and laughs mockingly. It was all fine and dandy until those spring locks on the suit got a little too loose, and yeah, William ended up getting crushed and mutilated, causing a very ironic death. His corpse just laid there. Okay, William dies. Good. So the game should be over, right? So the lore's over. B big bad guy dies, right? For a while, until some fools decided to reopen the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise as a horror attraction. They found the suit and thought, hey, this bloody animatronic suit seems to be perfect to put inside of a horror attraction for kids. When they do this, William decides to become alive again and stalks this. But how? But, but how? I thought only the kids could do it because they have Remnant. How the fuck did he do it? How? how? He just wakes up? How? Matt, did they don't explain it, do they? Remnant? I thought only kids could produce the remnant. He decides? He just decided. Ah, fuck it. I'm going to live now. So we're in a world now where anyone could just come back alive, basically is what you're telling me. So why the fuck are we dealing with fucking teddy bears when we should just be fucking taking over galaxies, right? Like, why are we dealing with teddy bears and bunnies? We can take over the galaxy if we just come back! The building was set on fire. The reason being unknown, but all that you need to know is that Springtrap, or William, is still alive despite the fire. It's possible it could have been Michael to set the fire nice. in an attempt to try and kill William Afton, but we don't know. However, he didn't escape without significant damage, as now he has to repair himself a little bit. And do you remember Ennard, who escaped through the sewer? No. Well, Baby was ejected from this and ends up having to piece herself together into Scrap Baby, while the rest of Ennard dons a Freddy mask to become Molten Freddy. We've discussed a lot of characters this video, but there's one that I haven't talked about in too much detail. Bonnie. That would be Henry. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, right! This motherfucker who lost his kid. Whose daughter became the puppet. Right. In all of this grief, Henry steps in to finally devise a plan to end it all. He opens up a new pizzeria under the Freddy's... I know how to handle this. Let's open a new pizzeria. <laughs> how many pizzerias are they opening, bro? <laughs> to gain the attention of the roaming animatronics, including Michael Afton, who still wants to find William Afton. Mike ends up getting the security right. job, and remember, he still looks like his father here. Henry creates an animatronic to capture his daughter. The animatronic is called Lefty, and little by little, Mike collects every single one of the animatronics into one facility, all according to Henry's plan. And on the final night, we finally get to hear Henry. He has this awesome speech that my words couldn't do justice, so by all means, check it out on your own. However, Henry's plan was to gather all the animatronics to one place in order to burn them, freeing their souls. He tells Mike, the volunteer, that there was a way for him to get out, but he feels that Mike might want to die here. Henry commits arson to the building, killing all of the animatronics ever, including Mike himself, and of course, William Afton, where his soul is presumably forever tortured by all of the animatronics. Okay, so that's the end of the lore. Everyone dies. Henry did it. Finally get a peaceful ending. All loose ends finally tied together. How peaceful. Until the next game comes out. This is where another company takes control of the FNAF games instead of Scott Cawthon, so there might be a lot of plot holes, but it's up to you on which story you want to continue or end with. Anyways, it's said that before William died, he uploaded himself virtually onto binary code, and when they develop a virtual FNAF experience, William's conscious enters through code and now is in the virtual game. He's a What? So he just, he tronned himself? What does that mean? So wait, the game is Lord now. So Five Nights at Freddy's is lore in the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. So it's a game in that universe. What? Hold on, hold on let me go back. Let me... Before William died, he uploaded himself virtually onto binary code. And when they develop a virtual FNAF experience, William's conscious enters through code and now is in the virtual game. He's able to use his power to slowly take over people's bodies. William ends up finding a host named Vanessa to take control of, using her- Vanessa. 
in order to create an alter ego called Vanny, which William can take control of. Shortly after, a new FNAF mall is created. God, these guys really need to stop making FNAF branded things. And go figure, in this mall, nine children are missing. Our main cast is the Glamrock series of Chica, Freddy, Roxy, and this alligator who apparently jumped the living hell out of Bonnie and killed him. All you need to know is that these animatronics are in some way controlled by William Afton. Anyway, Glamrock Freddy ends up malfunctioning on stage because he is exempt from being controlled by William and he spasses out. He wakes up near closing time only to spot Gregory, some homeless kid who presumably thinks that living in a mall with robot animals is a good idea. Now, some people assume that Gregory is an animatronic because how his vision glitches when he sees Vanny. Freddy and Gregory work together and basically end up stealing parts of animatronics to make Freddy stronger. To do this, they throw Chica into a trash compactor, snapping the alligator Monty into bite-sized pieces, and then promptly commit vehicular manslaughter on a fox. They end up exploring underneath the complex- Oh, this is the new game. I was never gonna play this. Apparently, the finance of Freddy's community is pissed about this game ruining the lore, but in all honesty, this makes more sense than the first fucking eight minutes I just watched. Kid is trapped in a fucking place. You need to kill the other things to get out. That makes way more sense than everything else I just watched. But this shouldn't even happen because William is dead. But somehow he's in a game code. I and William Afton, I, I thought you were dead. Anyway, William wants to resume his favorite hobby, killing children. So that's the reason why he wants to control all of the animatronics is just to murder children. But after an epic final fight, Gregory and Glamrock Freddy end up burning the entire complex whole, which probably won't work on William Afton. And right as William Afton is about to catch Gregory and Glamrock Freddy, William Afton is captured by the blob to, I don't know, some other place now. As you know it, the complex ends up getting shut down, and that's the ending. We get a beautiful ending, similar to the one of Pizzeria Simulator, overlooking a hill with a lot of corpses, and this time, I can say for sure, all loose ends are finally tied together. Isn't there literally DLC? Isn't there literally DLC happening? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I've got to say, in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. They're milking that shit? Yeah, they're milking it. To, and now they're making a movie. Is the movie gonna be all of that? <laughs> yeah, good luck explaining that in the movie. If they make like multiple movies, they're gonna have to do way better job at explaining because that was so fucking hard to keep up. Bro, have you grew up on this? Yeah, dude, I grew up on fucking Teen Titans and Codename Kids Next Door and y'all motherfuckers grew up on Five Nights at Freddy's lore. I feel bad for you. I'm sorry. I feel fucking bad for you. I watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Toonami and Boomerang and y'all watch this shit. I feel for you. That was, I don't know what I just watched. I'm still confused. Do I watch the hour long video? It'll make more sense. Will it? Here's the, here's the story. I remember it. Henry's kid dies. Henry's kid becomes puppet. Uh, who cares about that? That shit's thrown in the trash. Uh, William murders random children. His his youngest son dies, and then his oldest son wants to kill William, or and then and he doesn't kill him, and then he goes into a sewer, and then he's not into a sewer, and then he's possessed, and then he's not possessed, and he's an old corpse, and then he's not an old corpse, and then he's a fucking puppet, and then the daughter dies in the head for some reason, and then uh, they make another fucking, it makes no sense! You've got about Revenant, oh, don't even get me started on fucking Revenant. The thing that only exists for children is what they said. Children give off remnant, but then William, eh, bitch, I'm back alive. Cause William never died. How did he not die? So what, he's just immune? <laughs> Where was the wife? True, true, true. Y'all said, wait for later. Where was the wife? If this video does well, which I don't know why I would, if people want to watch me watch the hour long Five Nights at Freddy's video, I'll fucking watch it, all right? I'll watch it. I'll, I'll upload it raw on Puffer TV. Yeah.